Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shalom family. The Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you're seeing me for your first time, you're welcome. This is the word and prophecy with Sivin Boy. If you're new, you're welcome. Thank you so much for taking a pause and clicking on this video. I pray that the Lord will bless you and meet you at the very point of your need in the mighty name of Jesus. <clears throat> And to you, my beloved returning subscribers, thank you so much for always, always coming back. May God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. <clears throat> Father, we thank you for this word to come. We pray that you minister, minister this word to us greatly and you open the eyes of our understanding to this word in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. There is somebody you are about to take a decision in your life and you are so unsure about the decision <clears throat> you are about to take a decision in your life and you are so unsure about that decision you are in the place where people are waiting for you to take that decision so that things can go ahead i am talking about your marriage but you are so unsure because you are a child of god <clears throat> You are somebody that loves God and the things of God. But this person that you want to marry is nothing like you. And you don't know if this person is going to be like you. You don't know. You are so unsure of the status of this person. You are so unsure if this person is going to help you with your work with God. God says if you don't see the signs of the second Adam in this person, don't go ahead. Second Adam means somebody that has had a touch of God. Somebody that has had um, the, the, the light of God. God says if you don't see it, don't go ahead to marry this person. A person that has not known God, that does not love God, that does not have the heart of God, will not treat you right. Somebody that does not know God will not treat you right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The way God treats his church, the bride, it is the same way that a husband is supposed to treat the wife. And somebody that does not know this concept will not treat you right. I pray for you that God will help you, give you wisdom to this situation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you. May God keep you. May God cause his countenance to shine upon you. May God be gracious to you and may God give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. The shalom of the Lord may nothing be missing for you and may nothing be broken for you. You are blessed of God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.